This is Israel's 9-11. The violence overseas has sent shockwaves around the globe. Here in Connecticut, Jewish leaders and organizations are hurting after waking up to news of the early morning surprise attack on Israel. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Cerullo shares their reactions. News of the tragedy unfolding overseas is hitting people here in Connecticut hard. Many local leaders say they are heartbroken. The CEO of the Jewish Federation of Greater New Haven says the organization is standing in solidarity with the Israeli people. We have friends from the Jewish community who have spent the last 24 hours in a bomb shelter. Gail Slosberg spent her Saturday trying to make sense of the attack on Israel. This is deeply personal. She says people are worried, trying to contact their loved ones overseas. Uh, you know, I've gotten phone calls from people who are saying my friend was at a party and, uh, you know, they took hostages and she's missing now. And we heard from one one dad whose son, you know, they grew up in New Haven and he's over there and he lives there over there now. And he said, so my son, you know, given the attack, um, he got called up. She says the boy is about 20 years old, now on his way to defend Israel after Hamas attacked on the morning of a major Jewish holiday. And it is traditionally a day of joy and singing, um, being together and celebrating together. It's a it's a happy day. Um, today is clearly not a happy day. This is the 50th anniversary of the Yom Kippur War. It's uh, almost to the day. This is as big a surprise uh, as that war was. University of New Haven Homeland Security expert Kenneth Gray is calling this a failure of intelligence. Just like 9-11 was a failure of intelligence to identify the threat against the United States where the terrorists were able to hijack aircraft and carry out their attack here, likewise, this attack on Israel was a surprise attack. As the situation unfolds, local Jewish leaders want the rest of the world to pay attention and rally around Israel. We would hope that our country and the rest of the world would stand side by side against terror. Um, in support of Israel the same way that the world came together in support of the United States after 9-11. To keep up with any developments as they happen overseas, you can download the WFSB app. In West Haven, Mike Cerullo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.